How are you doing, Pradeep? Well, I've been better. I think I hate my kids. No, you love your kids. You've got great kids. Oh, I used to think that too, because until recently, I didn't spend all my time with them. Look, we've all had some serious moments this year from quarantine, health concerns, to comedy gold created on video chat. And that's the inspiration behind NBC's new comedy, Connecting, premiering tonight. Now, joining us with more about the show is cast members, Keith Powell and Jill Knox. How are you guys? What's We're up? great. We're doing well. <laughs> Now, look, I watched the trailer and I was like, man, this is as real as it gets. This is my life right now. COVID era comedy. So tell me a little bit about the show. I think it's everybody's life right now. Yeah, connecting is about <laughs> a group of friends who are trying to stay connected and supportive and loving of each other through a unprecedented trying time. Um, since they can't be together in person, this is the way they're staying connected, much like most friend groups all over the world. Now, am I looking at the set right now? I want to know how you guys shot this show. <laughs> you are looking at a set. This is, this this is, is one of the sets that we use. <laughs> our, the set is our house. <laughs> and we use every corner of our house. A lot of the, 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 the conceit of the show is that we do all of the backstage work ourselves. So the, uh, the crew drops off uh, you know, cameras, lights, set decoration, costumes, sound equipment, all at our front door. We all set it up around our house in various locations and we press record. And by we all, he means he, he and I. There, right, this is right. a no contact show. Yeah. We never have any contact with anybody outside. And we they just go on Zoom and they tell us where to hang stuff and yeah. where to light stuff. And it's yeah. wild. Now, speaking of working together, I want to know how real does it get? How much of Keith and Jill's relationship do we see on screen? Because you two play a couple on the show. Too real. Too, no, no. I mean, <laughs> basically, like the, we haven't argued. Oh no, we had one. We have one fight in the show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had one fight. We're in the not. Show. Yeah, we're. Um... But no, no. I I actually feel like what I what I love when we first read the script, it was kind of uncanny how much like the characters we are in real life. Mm -hmm. We are, you know, our characters are kind of like the mom and pop of the group, where everyone comes over to our house and has Sunday dinner and we cook for them and, and we take care of the group of friends. And that's what we do with our real friends, especially trying to stay connected during this crazy time. And um, so we were kind of, we were a little surprised by just how closely the show mirrored our lives. I thought, did, did, are, did one of the writers, did they know us? Right. It was, it was, that, it was that kind of spot on. So you will get to see who we are because yeah. it's written into the material. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now, you two have a child and you don't have to worry about virtual school right now, but just talk about parenting uh, while under lockdown quarantining. Tell me about that experience. I, you know what? We are so lucky that our daughter is a toddler. She <laughs> learned, she just started to walk. I would say the beginning week, of quarantine. week two of quarantine, she took her first steps. So I, the only the only challenge or bummer I think is that our parents can't visit with her. Right. Um, but in terms of keeping her occupied, I mean, she loves a box of sidewalk chalk. She is <laughs> she lives for a splash pad and a hose. Like she is a very, I mean, high maintenance in that all children require a lot of care and time and attention, but she's at a stage where she doesn't realize that there's much outside of our four walls in our backyard, yeah. which has made it easier for us, I and think. I, I will just say that um, our daughter is having the time of her life right now because she, while we're working, she has a nanny who, <laughs> spends all day, every day with her and all the attention on her. And so when the nanny goes away and then she sees us, she's like, and why am I, why is no one paying attention? And we're exhausted from shooting 12 hours a day. She's <laughs> like, wait, we can't 
go in the splash pad. <laughs> right. Like, mommy can't get her hair wet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, listen, look, I'm natural myself, so I get it. Cannot get the hair wet. That's a whole process in itself. But thank you guys for taking the time to chat with me. I cannot wait to watch the show. <laughs> Thank you. One of my mentors is from Norfolk, Virginia, so I'm thrilled to be with you. <laughs> All right. Shout him out. What's their name? His name is Dr. John Shevin Foster. He's a playwright, and he was my teacher and mentor when I was at NYU, and I just love him. All right. Well, shout out. Okay, thank you for the shout out. So you guys <laughs> tune in to the season premiere of Connecting Tonight at 8 right here on Wavy TV 10. You don't want to miss it.